what's up everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm super excited for today's video i thought of it late last night um today is monday the monday after thanksgiving i'm pretty sure it's the 30th i just looked at my computer so today is monday november 30th um joanne has a weird kind of like black friday weekend sale they have like their sale wednesday friday and then saturday <laughs> and then sunday monday is a different sale so i've been wanting to go and get some fabric i mean don't get me wrong i did go on friday but i've been wanting to go today monday and get some more fabric um and then i also saw on instagram that mimi g's patterns were on sale for five dollars the um print patterns where you like print them from your computer and then you tape them together so there's two in particular i was looking at so i thought why not get those two patterns and then go to the black friday sale well black friday sale looking specifically for fabric for those patterns um that's really never how i've bought anything in the past i've always bought patterns and fabric separately um sometimes i'll see some fabric for sale and i'll instantly be like oh this pattern i know exactly what i'm gonna make um and sometimes like whenever i go to the pattern sales um the ones where they're 199 i'll be like oh this is on sale i know exactly what fabric i'm gonna use for this but most of the times I'm just buying fabric that I like and I think I can make an overall garment like this is really good bottom weight fabric or a pattern that I like um, that I know I'll actually use. And then when I get home, I look at my stash of fabric and patterns and find a perfect match for a garment. Um, also, if you just heard that whining, we do have a bit of an audience today. Um, and I am drinking my coffee. Um, it was a really long but fun holiday weekend. Um, so we're not, we're settling for a plastic cup today because I need to do my dishes. First, sadly, before I can really go and shop for this fabric, it is a school day. So I do need to do some at least a little bit of homework kind of get myself established started um luckily except for one class things seem to be kind of going like the smooth side <laughs> on the mimi g website um looking at the pdf patterns that's what they're called and that's what i meant to call them um because i saw two in particular last night that i wanted to make but I want to go ahead and tell you which two they are and I'll insert a um, picture of them on the screen for you to see. So the first one is the Lexi. It is, I'll read the description for it. A relaxed jumpsuit with an elastic waist and sleeve and pant leg with cuff detail. Um, so basically it's just a jumpsuit with elastic waist and then um, cuffs on the sleeves and cuffs on the... Um, pants there's also a specific mimi g pattern i bought in the past um i'll insert that one here i'm not entirely sure what it's called but i'll have it on the screen too i bought this one well actually got this one as a christmas present and i had the perfect fabric for it and then it turned out that i didn't have enough fabric for it <laughs> so um i might be looking for fabric for that one and then the other one i was looking at is oh here we go the tiffany is the one that I, I was just talking about um basically it kind of looks like a jumpsuit but no elastic in the waist or in the, there it's like a spaghetti strap top and then um it kind of like flares at the pant legs so we're looking at that one um which i already have that one last one i was thinking about was the annie um basically it is the perfect cardigan with wide hem band and patch pockets. Um, so it's a cardigan with buttons going up, um, not all the way up, they probably end like down here if the buttons do. It's a longer cardigan and um, cuffs at the sleeves and um, 
yeah i'll insert the picture that way you can kind of see better um than that poor description i just gave but kind of going back and forth with the annie um i need to look through my stash and see what i have but 100 percent, i want to get the lexi so i might just get fabric for the lexi and the tiffany um so yeah i need 100 percent. i need to look at um the patterns and see how much fabric is required for what size that way i know how much to buy um typically you can look on the back of a pattern it will either say like extra small to extra large or it will say like size four to size 14. that's just a random number that i made up but usually it's ranging in there and then it will say like bust waist hips and then it will have your measurements and you pick your measurement and then it will tell you what size to cut the pattern out and then it will tell you how much fabric you need for that specific size so and it also depends on like the width of the fabric um like if it's a 45 inch or 60 inch fabric then you need to buy this much versus this much you can see at the on the back of a pattern how much fabric you'll need to buy so those are all the patterns um so the next time i see you i will be fabric shopping and hopefully um done with a lot of school stuff maybe if i can make myself i don't know it is a monday hair is insane it's absolutely freezing outside 46 and that that's really cold for me so we're on our way to joanne i have my shopping list on this bright piece of paper so for the Lexi, I need three yards of Kali, or of, Kali, of cotton, uh, polyester cotton blend or a rayon cotton blend that has at least 25% stretch across the width with, and I also need five eighths elastic. Um, and then the other one, which we're gonna call the jumpsuit, spaghetti strap jumpsuit, I'll put it, whatever it is right there, I need three yards of a lightweight woven fabric, which could be poly chalice, poly crepe, or velvet. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Joanne. All right, I just made it. Okay, I am back. And yeah, we did a little bit of fabric shopping. Um, I'm gonna show you the two fabrics that I got from here. Um, when I get home, but I did save $142 because everything that I bought was 70% off, which is amazing. Um, especially for fabric. This is like the one time a year I really go all out and um, buy the fabric that I like at Joann. Otherwise, I try to just buy resale fabric. So I'm going to go home and then I'll show you what I got as well as there will be an official haul showing you the rest of what I got um on my channel for Black Friday later. I am back. I have made myself another coffee just reusing the same cup and I'm gonna show you the fabric that I got. I'm super excited. Well I'm only gonna show you the fabric that I plan on using for these two specific patterns um because that's what today's video is but they're I have gone a little bit crazy and gotten um so that's gonna be a separate video showing you my um cyber monday black friday joanne fabric and notions haul um because there's enough in there for a entire video maybe plus more but what i do want to show you today is the two specific fabrics that i um bought for the projects that we talked about. So the first look is for the Lexi and I have my little thingamadeal here. Um, so this one is a super, it's, I'll show you the fabric first and I'll also put up a picture of the Lexi. Navy blue, super, super soft um, polyester spandex blend. It has a decent amount of stretch to it, but nothing too crazy. Um, so it stretches more this way than this way. I really liked this navy blue color, um, because this was 70% off. The prints in the knit fabric 
weren't, I wasn't in love with them. They were either too repetitive or like, you know how where it's like a cluster and then a cluster and then a cluster. And I was like, mm, I don't really see that looking good. Um, or the prints that I did like weren't on sale. So I went ahead and just got this one um, because I love the navy blue color. I think it will look really, really good. Um, and maybe a print would look better, but if I'm not gonna find the perfect print, then I want a solid color. So that's why I got this navy blue. And so I wanted to look at my receipt to tell you how much it was. So solid navy jersey fabric, normally, so I got, I went ahead and got three yards of this um, because I didn't, it's a jumpsuit that has like long legs and long arms and there's a lot of gathering in the waist. So I didn't want to run out of fabric. Um, plus if I do have leftover fabric, I know 100% I can use it within something, you know? Um, so this was Navy solid Jersey fabric. It is be with the sale at three yards, it was $4 and 19 cents a yard, which is crazy. So normally this would be, I think regular priced, it was around $16 a yard. Um, it would be 14, it would be $41 and 97 cents for this fabric, which I got for $12 and 57 cents. So that is a heck of a steal. Um, also it's why I waited so long to buy my nice fabric at Joann. That's pretty much the only place that I go Black Friday shopping is Joann because of the, the deals. <laughs> Last slash next fabric. So I decided to get fabric for, um, whenever I looked at the pattern, it was 1002 pink. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the name of the pattern. Um, the Mimi G pattern, I'll put a picture up of that. So I went ahead and got three yards of this as well because I have two yards of something um, just in my stash that I tried to cut the pattern out of and it was way too big. But before I make this one, I'm definitely gonna make a copy, um, a test copy first because I'm nervous about it fitting and the fit of it. So I really, really love this fabric and I wanna make sure that it fits correctly before I use this nice fabric. So, I'm pretty sure, did y'all just hear that? Was that the ice cream truck? Okay, that's kind of freaking me out because today is the coldest day we've had in a really long time and I can't see it. But I can hear it. It's it, it, it's coming from this side. It literally sounds like it's right outside my window. Oh, it just oh. I'm gonna have to go investigate what the heck is. Oh, I see it. Hey, it was coming from this way, so. Okay, anyways, they're just parked over there, but their music is off. So I'll just go ahead and show you the fabric anyways. So this is the fabric that I got. It's just, I had been eyeing this on Friday whenever I went, um, but I was gonna go back either Sunday or Monday um, because this was 70% off grid, grid work plaid. I think that's what this was. Um, it was three dollars or i got four yards oh my gosh i'm totally saying this backwards i got three yards um because i didn't want to run out of fabric and it was four dollars and 79 cents a yard so normally 47 dollars and 97 cents and i got it for 14 dollars and 37 cents so that is a heck of a deal um i think this is like a silk a silk, super, super lightweight woven fabric. It has a really nice shine to it and also a really nice drape to it. When I go to cut this, I'll have to make sure I cut everything according to the grain line and really, really make sure. Um, that way it will hang nicely for me and on my body. 
Um, I'm hoping that I would have extra of this fabric. That way I can also make something else of it. That's the two fabrics that I got today for those two very specific um, projects. I had so much fun filming this video and going to Joann's, taking a little bit of a break from school, even though um, I'm about to freaking get into it right now. This is from Friday and this is from Saturday. And um, I'm gonna film a separate video for my channel showing you all the fabric I got, um, discluding these two, and just talk about those. Um, so if you want to see that video, be on the lookout for it. Um, there goes, the, there goes the ice cream truck again. Um, also be on the lookout for my, um, garment of the week videos. I've been very, very slow to getting those up, but they will be up as well as, um, a November vlog, even though November is pretty much over. <laughs> so thank you so, so much for watching and I will talk to you later.